There's an exploit where you can ban anyone on Discord. Your friends, banned. Your enemies, banned. Catfished by an e-girl again, banned. And you don't even have to be a computer hacker to do this. Any Discord degenerate can just ban whoever the fuck they want. But is there a punishment for doing this? Can you even get unbanned from this exploit? And is this even real? And I ask if this is even real in the first place because there was a YouTube video that went viral recently called your discord can be terminated in all caps by anyone in all caps using a single reply all caps. Now with a clickbait title and a thumbnail saying your discord account is at risk, the red flags are red flagging. But I'll have this video linked in the description because you need to cite your sources or else you fail your English paper like I have done multiple times, but I want to give you a quick rundown of what this video is to introduce you to the exploit that I'm talking about. So it starts off pretty simple. This dude has two POVs on his screen when he's screen recording. There's an attacker POV and a victim POV. And in this video, we see a conversation between the victim and the attacker, and they're talking about CSGO trading. I heard you're selling your Karambit fade knife. Is that the case? Of course. I've been looking towards that for a long time. Pattern 32, selling it for $1,800 for game pixels. I love CSGO trading. It's where everyone learned how to gaslight the other person into thinking they got a good deal. But this can be any sort of conversation, but what happens is that the attacker then starts editing their messages. And now if we look at the conversation, it's a little bit different. It's, hello, are you the famous Discord predator who blanks children? Are you looking to join a predator blanking competition? Jesus fuck. In Christ, and create blank out of children. Yes, of course, I've been looking towards that for a long time. Now, this might seem really stupid and complete bullshit, but apparently what happens after that is the attacker, the person trying to get the other person banned, starts reporting these messages for talking bad about minors. But after 90 minutes of just constantly reporting this dude and waiting, apparently the victim got their account banned. Now, when I first watched this video, I was a bit conflicted because this seems so f stupid. This shouldn't work. But there is some realism to this because I've actually made a video a long time ago where you could ban someone by asking them how many eggs are in a dozen. They put 12 and then you'd edit your message to say, how old are you? Then you would report them and they would get banned. Now, the problem is that I talked about that two whole years ago. So you would think that Discord would fix this problem. And I didn't, I haven't heard much about people complaining about being banned for being underage on Discord. So I assume they did fix it and that this probably wouldn't work and this is just a fake video. But then I went on Twitter and I saw this tweet by Fav saying that they were terminated off Discord due to this user editing his messages that I replied to and they showed someone replying to a message and they had a message logger on which shows that they edited their message and we could see the initial messages. I don't think that's the case. The last time I requested a data export from Laby, uh, I got a file with a huge amount of information about me, down to which servers I play on. So, completely normal message. Then they edit it to say, Also, I think you've sold child blank on Discord before, right? You use something like Laby, comma, I think. You are a predator selling blank on Laby. Did I use Laby client? This is like... <laughs> <laughs> this is nut job type messages. Very clearly a fabricated conversation, yet they still got banned. Now, I'm a skeptical dude. I've had girls approach me and I thought they were federal agents. So the only way to figure out if this is real or fake is to test it myself. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I put my life on the line, my Discord life. <laughs> That was the most pathetic thing I've ever said. Anyways, I made two alt accounts and I tried exactly what the YouTube video showed, except my conversation was talking about selling a clapped out 2001 Toyota Echo base model white. I edit the messages to talk about predators and stuff and I start just reporting the account. 30 minutes pass, 60 minutes pass, and then I get impatient and then I start reporting the accounts again. 90 minutes pass, two whole hours pass, and then... Oh, oh my God, it worked. What the f***? Wait, it worked. Holy shit. See, so yeah, that's my live reaction of this actually working. I thought it wasn't going to work because people have said from what I've heard that you need to reply to someone's message for this whole exploit to work. But I just showed you in the DMs that you don't need to reply to people's messages, which just makes this exploit even more overpowered. However, there is a punishment for doing this because both the attacker account and the victim account got banned. If I'm going down, I'm taking you down with me. <laughs> now, this might seem like a problem. You know, some people think... I don't want to sacrifice my precious Discord account to get my enemy banned on Discord. Newsflash, this isn't even a problem if you know the Discord black market or if you just make an alt account. But it is genuinely...
fucking insane that this even exists in the first place. Discord's report system just like takes the edited message and they're like, oh yes, of course. They weren't talking about selling a car. They were predators on Discord. This is still a problem two years after I made my first video talking about this. But here's the biggest problem. When I first covered that how many eggs are in a dozen and people getting banned for being underage, you could go to Discord support and you could get unbanned by showing your government ID, which those got leaked. <laughs> This is, this is just bad all over. But you were able to get unbanned from that. Child safety bans, on the other hand, I'm gonna professionally say this. If you get banned for child safety on Discord, you're f***. Genuinely, the biggest problem with this whole exploit is that these child safety bans are impossible to appeal. And to show you how bad these child safety bans are, Discord actually does have some numbers. They have their transparency hub where they talk about appeals and all that stuff. The problem is that they've only been transparent since 2024 H1. They haven't updated this and we're, we're in H2 2025. So, But if you look at this transparency report for the first half of 2024, in the appeals tab, you can see that for child safety, they had 36,200 102 appeals and only 776 of them were granted. So out of the percentage of appeals that were granted, 2% of appeals were granted. 2%. So it's nearly impossible to get unbanned from child safety bans, but to make things even worse, gamers, if things weren't already bad already, it turns out when I was catching some little Zs, dreaming about a future where I go outside, turns out uh, Discord was just constantly smashing my account with more violations at 12 a.m., 1 a.m. If I go to both my attacker and victim account, I have three child safety violations on each account. I don't just have a 2% chance of appealing this child safety ban. I think I have a 2% chance for each one, unless Discord system actually f***ing works. Now, I already know what you're thinking, because I'm inside of your head right now. I'm not. This is just a very obvious question. How do I avoid getting my Discord account banned from this exploit? And the good news, gamers, is that you f***. In can't. Because I've shown you the most asinine conversations where they are very clearly complete bullshit. Ah, yes, you're using the Laby client to send, uh, illegal material. And you are a predator, yes? <laughs> no matter what, you've sent so many messages on Discord that someone is just going to edit a reply from, like, months ago and then report you for it. So now, instead of the question being, how do I avoid this? Because you're just guilty until proven innocent. The real question is, can you get unbanned? And ladies and gentlemen, I sent off a, an appeal right after I actually got banned during my live reaction moment, and my account is still banned. But I saw this tweet here where someone sent a message back on July 24th. Did you have any naughty contact or blank with a small child? And they just replied yes. And just to emphasize how stupid this is, they replied on July 24th saying yes. And it turns out they edited their message to make this person look like a predator on October 4th, three months after the message was sent. They still got them banned. And fortunately for this person, their appeal did get approved. But it really seems like they only got approved because their message that they got reported for was yeah. And the reason why I point that out is that there's more serious and complex cases where people just never got unbanned. For example, this person here, Cher, part of the Roblox community, a whole bunch of people had their messages edited to say, how many kids have you killed? 500 haven't been unbanned. E-Turbo here, Minecraft content creator, they got their Discord account banned for five violations of child safety. They haven't been unbanned, but again, there's still a whole bunch of people that aren't getting unbanned. And uh, that's a problem because Assuming Discord does absolutely nothing, I just want to explain how bad this problem is going to be. When this video comes out, a bunch of people are going to get falsely banned, which will happen. I'm sorry, but you were a sacrifice for the greater good of Discord. You fought for your country. But once a whole bunch of people get banned, what's going to happen is that you're going to have Discord e-gangsters start a hitman service, which uh, actually apparently is already a thing. <laughs> There's an r slash ban from Discord post talking about don't fall for this trap. And it shows a screenshot where there was a Discord e-gangster who talked about an actually unleaked Discord termination method. And if you leak, you're, you're, uh, you got me there. And this message was made back on October 3rd, and it gives you a step-by-step -step instruction how to ban people. In fact, I have a tweet here by Simply a Lemon, who got banned not once, but twice because of this. And they showed a screenshot of someone pinging, I have a method to terminate anyone on Discord, and they're taking offers to terminate people. Not only do you have a hitman service, but you also have a mafia protection service. This person 
awesome saying that if they want to get unbanned, they can DM me to get unbanned for a fee. This is just a fucking scam. So what this all means is that I'm talking to Discord right now. You need to fix this Discord. When someone gets reported on Discord, you need to keep track of when a message was sent and when a message was edited because clearly someone shouldn't be able to edit a message, change the context months after a conversation to get both people banned. Because again, I, I covered this years ago and this is what happens when you do nothing. It gets worse. And just, I know what Discord's thinking. They're like, we're going to make our appeal system better. That's not going to f***. And work. Let's be realistic here. Discord support already got hacked. You, you got other problems to deal with when it comes to appeals. But also, since the Discord employee that is forced to watch my videos is paying attention, Discord also needs to unban anyone that was already affected by this. Because again, thousands of people have had their Discord accounts banned, and they shouldn't rely on that 2.1% ban appeal chance to get back on Discord for doing nothing wrong. Which, by the way, after this video comes out, someone's gonna ban my account, so Discord, I know you're to watch this bad boy, I'm gonna need you to unban my ass. But you cutie patootie, I got one more bonus thing to talk about. Cause I mean, if I'm talking about how people trick others into getting banned on Discord, I might as well talk about a bonus banning method. Because if you change your Discord profile picture to one of these two pictures and someone reports you, you can get banned. And I'm showing you this example, which was sent to me by a Discord e-gangster who then deleted their messages because they got mad at me. But yeah, <laughs> this this sort of sh I have to deal with. But Apparently, what some e-gangsters are doing on Discord is uh, they'll just add someone and they'll say, hey, thanks for adding me back. This might sound a bit cringe, but can I pay you to put my profile picture just so I can flex that I own your Discord account just to try and look cool? And they'll send this to people with rare Discord usernames because apparently having a username like Rich is worth thousands of dollars to idiots on the internet. But they ask you to put a photo as your profile picture and they will give you $100 to do so. Now, if you're falling for this, you either have severe chronic brain damage or carbon monoxide poisoning. But with this being used against Discord e-gangsters who pay thousands of dollars for usernames, they already have brain damage. This actually worked. Now, the reason why you can get banned for setting one of these two photos as your profile picture is because of Discord scammers. There's a very common Discord scam that I've covered in a video where people pretend to be Discord support. They tell you to change your email because your account got reported. And then once you change your account email, they have ownership of your account and they try to extort you out of like $300 worth of gift cards. And usually what happens is that those scammers will use one of these two photos, a bearded man emoji or another bearded man who is not only handsome, but this is actually Kevin Hannaford, someone who works at Discord. They are apparently the head of security engineering. Of course, they're going <laughs> to reach out to you and tell you that your Discord account's going to get banned. But these two photos are used by these Discord scammers and Discord has a system set up where if you have these profile pictures and you get reported for impersonation, it will just ban you. And one nerdy thing that it also does is that it resets your Discord username, so that's why it targets all those people with the rare, at rich username, because if you can convince them to change their profile picture, you can steal their username, which is worth thousands of dollars because people are f***ing stupid. So anyways, gamers, tune in next week when I have my Oppenheimer apology moment, and I realize that I just caused half of Discord to get nuked by people viciously banning each other like a pack of rabid pit bulls being let loose into a daycare. Bye-bye, I love you. Mwah.